Across the Palestinian territories, water is in such short supply that it has become an expensive commodity. Experts say this year arid Palestine is going to experience one of its worst drafts for 80 years. According to the latest report issued by the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics, precipitation has to exceed 125 percent of the annual average for the crisis to be averted. Dr. Lu'ay Shabani, the head of the bureau, believes that water sharing between Israelis and Palestinians is unfair. Uh, what we get is much, much less. It's actually less than 50 percent of the actual need of the Palestinian people. And if you look at the average consumption uh, in, in comparison between the Israelis and the Palestinians, we consu consume much less than uh, uh, 20 percent of the, uh, I mean, for the Palestinian um, uh, person. Uh, the, an the annual uh, uh, consumption of water is less than 20 percent of what the, Isra his, uh, the Israeli counterpart is, is consuming. According to the Oslo Agreement signed in 1993, Palestinians can only have access to 15 percent of Palestine's water resources, with Israel being given a free reign to use the rest. To make the matters worse, Israel has even encroached upon water tables originally belonging to Palestinians and annexed some aquifers to settlements by erecting this segregation wall. Dr. Abdurrahman Tamimi, a member of the Palestinian Hydrology Group, says even the limited amount of water allowed for Palestinians could be polluted. The Israeli settlements, most of them, they have no treatment plans and they release uh, their wastewater and especially the industrial waste, especially in Salfit area, to the Palestinian valleys, which is filtrate to the groundwater and uh, pollute the groundwater with heavy metals, with toxic materials and sometimes with unknown uh, pollutants. Most Palestinians have to buy water at high prices from Israeli private companies or they have to settle for untreated rainfall water, which is even very limited. The worst average rainfall was recorded this year in the West Bank city of Jericho, where the Dead Sea is shrinking. Since the year 1930, the water level of the Dead Sea has receded by about 25 meters. Many Israeli and Palestinian experts believe the Israeli industrial policies are to blame. The prolonged water crisis has greatly worsened the situation for the Palestinians who have been already beset by the Israeli checkpoints and expanding settlements. It's a matter of hunger and thirst. Over 200,000 Palestinians get network water only four times a year. Even this sometimes is restricted by Israel. Serial Khalili Press TV, The Dead Sea, Jericho.